But um, so Michio, why the Europeans had what different computing power or different ideas about how weather systems would operate relative to we here across the pond? Each computer program has a different way of chopping up the Earth in terms of cubes. And then within each cube, using equations to model the weather in each individual cube. And then lastly, to then wrap all these cubes together to get the weather of the entire Earth. That's a lot of assumptions. That's a lot of models. And right. that's why we can never predict the exact path of a hurricane. You see that every time. I just wouldn't have thought that a continent would have its own set of models relative to another continent. That's all. Right. That, seemed, that seemed kind of provincial to me. Mm. The, well, the, you got the, it. The Euro model. <laughs> <laughs> Digital computers are very provincial. <laughs> All right, Michio, it's great. We got your book out, uh, Quantum Supremacy. Aud audacious of you to title it that. I mean, I don't want that to be true, but we know that's what it's about. Yeah. We know, we know, we, we're just being that's honest. That's the name of the game. Chuck, one last question. See if we can fit one in. All right. Very this is David. Hey, David here from upstate New York. Hi to all. I don't think Dell and HP will be selling quantum computers at Walmart anytime soon, and that's what concerns me the most. Quantum computing will most likely be used by large corporations and governments and the ultra-wealthy. Between AI and advanced quantum computing, can you describe one benefit it will bring to me, the average person? Do you think it will unite humanity, divide us further into havens and haves and have-nots? Please, thank you in advance. Mm. Well, all, right. all technologies, when they are first invented, usually benefit the people who invested in it, which are usually wealthy people, people with connections. But then mass production kicks in, competition kicks in, prices start to go down as a consequence. But every technology, name them all. Going back to the Stone Age, the first people to introduce technologies had the advantage, and they used it to get rich or to get the power. It is true, Micho. Wheels are pretty cheap today. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with quantum computers. Eventually, we'll all have a chip. Uh, for example, in our contact lens, we'll have a connection to the Internet in the cloud. The quantum computers will be in the cloud, and you're, you will access it with your wristwatch, your contact lens. You'll blink. And then you'll have access to the uh, computing power. Or the implant, or the computer. neural implant. Right. Yeah. Or right. the neural implant, that's right. Mm -hmm. You simply okay. think, and you get access to a quantum computer. But first, All right. initially, yeah, it's going to be the big banks and the CIA and people like that that will be mm -hmm. jumping on the computer, uh, uh, quantum computer bandwagon. But then prices will begin to drop because of competition, mass production. And they've always dropped for everything else. So that's the reason why you say that. That's yeah. right. And, and how quickly? Is this 10 years from now, 20 years, five I'd, years? Uh, well, right now, we, we already have achieved quantum supremacy. That's already been achieved, but not for, for general questions. That's what we want, an all-purpose quantum computer for any general question. That'll take maybe another 10 years. Another 10 years. But we're going exponentially fast. We're up to 1,000 qubits now. That was unheard of. If you were to talk to somebody just 10 years ago, they'd shake their heads. What? You'd be lucky to have four or five qubits. Now we're up to 1,000. Eventually, we'll be up to a million. All right. Holy and then Lord. when you come back on the show, you will be an animatronic <laughs> <laughs> hologram. It'll, it'll just be his consciousness inside of, you know, some kind of pl jar. plasma cloud. That <laughs> or just a jar. Right. Or I'll be, I'll be an avatar. Uh, <laughs>